just recently came out, and there's a lot to explore in this chapter, one of the most intriguing elements being the ending. Hopefully you've completed the map and seen it by now. Today we're going to analyze Kachin and explore what's actually going on. So grab your popcorn and let's dive in. After Bunny finally escapes the metro, she sits by a wall in what seem to be her final moments. She apologizes to Bonnet, who we see as a giant rabbit creature. Bunny doesn't realize these are just hallucinations. From this scene, we can infer that she has lost her sister, Bonnet, similar to Willow, who also lost William. Next, she sees a mouse talking to someone and climbing into a dumpster. Bunny mistakes this person for an infected, due to their red glowing eyes, signaling that Bunny herself is starting to turn. This is when she becomes infected, shown by her head twitching. A detail that not many people pick up on. It's revealed that the mouse is actually Mori, the wooden marionette skin from Book 2. A wolf arrives, looking for Mori, and sees the now-infected Bunny pulling out a gun, again similar to Willow. Bunny is shot and falls to the ground, but experiences another hallucination, seeing two other rabbits. These are new characters, and some people speculate that the one on the left is Bruella from the Lost Book, though that isn't canon. Bunny is knocked out, but likely not dead. There's something else I'd like to add. There are several similarities between Bunny and Willow in this cutscene. First, Bunny searches for her sister, who is just a hallucination, while Willow searches for William before the factory scene in Book 2. Also, it's interesting how a wolf with a gun shoots Bunny, much like Willow shot Giraffe in the sewers ending. Both of these points suggest that Bunny and Willow have an important connection. We know TFP raided the hospital, so maybe they met then. Who knows? Anyway, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe for more Roblox Piggy content, and I'll see you in the next one.